Hello and welcome to Thermodynamics 2 tutorials with Maria. We're going to be solving an auto cycle, which is the typical uh, spark engine process. We are told that a four stroke, four cylinders gasoline engine running at 2000 RPM has a compression ratio of 10. The displacement volume is 2.5 liters. That the air enters the engine at a pressure of 70 kilopascal and a temperature of 280 kelvins. 1800 kilojoule per kilogram of heat is added per cycle through a combustion process. We are asked to find the power produced by the engine. So in an auto cycle, there's four parts. We have the compression of the fluid, then we have the combustion where heat is added, then we have the expansion, and then we have the exhaust. So on our PP diagram, it looks something like this. So we have pressure here and the volume. So if we think in terms of our piston movement, we're gonna have the bottom dead center and top dead center, so this is the bo bottom dead center is the, what is the lower it can go and this is the highest. So if we start here at one, we're gonna go through an isentropic compression. So we're gonna increase in pressure, decrease in volume to two. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna have heat addition. So here we have Q in. Then we're gonna have the expansion, isentropic expansion to four. And then it's gonna, our fluid is gonna exhaust the system. So here we're gonna have Q out. So what is given? is that N is 2000 RPM. We have a compression ratio of 10, so RC is equal to 10. And we know the that the air is entering the engine at a pressure of seven, 70 kilopascal and 280 kelvins. That's a pressure at one of 70 kilopascal, a temperature at one of 280 kelvins. Then we know we are adding heat. So Q in is equal to 1800 Eight per kilogram and we are asked to find power produced. So now if we want to find the power produced by the engine, let's start by the thermal efficiency, which you know is going to be the work net over the Q in. And for an engine, the work net is the heat in minus the heat out over the heat in. So we can rewrite this as one minus Q out over Q in. And if you're confused by this part, just remember what is a heat engine. So if we have a heat engine, we have temperature high, temperature low, we have the work net, and we can see that it's gonna be Q in minus Q out in this way. If you want to rewrite this equation, we can say it's gonna be equals to one minus Cp. For Q out, it's gonna be T4 minus T1 over Cp T3 minus T2. Here our CP are gonna, are gonna cancel out. So we know that the compression from one to two and the expansion from three to four are isentropic and the volume of two is equal to volume of three and volume of one is equal to volume of four. So we can play with the isentropic equations. So we say the temperature at one over temperature at two because we know it's gonna be a isentropic comp compression. That's gonna be equals volume at two over volume at one, exponent k minus one. But we know that volume at two is equal to volume at three, and the volume at one is equal to volume at four. So we can rewrite this as this. And we can also say that it's gonna be equal to temperature at four over temperature at three, since it's an isentropic expansion. Now, if we bring this one here and we say volume of two over volume at one, k minus one is gonna be equal to t four over t three and we have temperature at one over temperature at two is gonna be equals to volume three over volume four K minus one. And then we can bring back the T3 up. So T3 volume at two K minus one is gonna be equals to temperature at four volume one K minus one. And in this case, it's gonna be temperature at one volume at four K minus one equals to temperature at two volume three K minus one. So we know that the volume at two and three are the same, and volume at one at volume at four are the same. So we can just play with the equation, and we're gonna find it's gonna be B two K minus one T three minus T two is gonna be equals to volume at one K minus one of T four minus T one, and then we can see how we can rearrange this equation to have something similar to what we have here. So it's temperature of four minus temperature one over temperature at three minus temperature at two 
that's going to be equals to volume of 2 over volume at 1, k minus 1. So we can rewrite the thermal equ equation of 1 minus volume of 2 over volume at 1, k minus 1. And we also know that the compression ratio, the compression ratio is equal to V1 over V2. So that's going to be equal to 1 minus 1 over RC, k minus 1. So now, if we want to calculate the work net, we can see it's going to be equal to the heat in times 1 minus 1 over RC, K minus 1. And if we just plug in the number, this is 1800 kilojoule per kilogram. 1 minus 1 over 10, 1.4 minus 1. And we're going to find a work net of the engine of 1083 kilojoule per kilogram.